Hello programmer, today in this tutorial we are going to write some code so that we can insert data into the database through this form. I want to say that if you missed my previous video on HTML register form, then you can find that video on the top right corner of this video. Now to get value from input tag, first we have to give name to that input tag, where this input field is for user's name, so I'm gonna name it username similar way for password also here we already give name to radio input but we have to assign value on it where yam for male and yam for female now do same thing for email also give a name phone code to this select tag and also a default option in select tag make this option selected and hidden now assign value on each option but this is default option, so we assigned an empty value. At last, give a name for phone. Now, next step is to create a database to store user's data. Open phpMyAdmin, select a database, or create a new database. Create new table. I'm gonna name it register. Click on go button. Here we give name and data type for column. First column is id, data type int, and tick on auto increment. Then second is username, data type variable character, length 20. After that password, do same thing like as an username. Then gender, now see a input radio type, a gender can have two values, either yam or yav. For a data type, a character is based with length 1. For email, data type is variable character with length 40. For phone code, no need to change data type. At last for phone, data type is big int. Then click on save button. Now to send data from HTML form to this database, let us create another file called insert.psp. And to send data from HTML form to here, then go back to form code. Write action equal to insert.php and method equal to post. Now we start with PSP general format. As we know that we have sent a data through post method, so that we have to cache those data through post method. And in between quotation, give a name of first input type, which is username. Then I'm gonna store it in username variable. Like this way we can go through every input and select tag. Now write a code to check this variable should not be MPT. If those variables are not empty, then on else statement, write all fields are required, die. This is server-side validation. And it will be more better if we do also a client-side validation. To do that, just add a required attribute on each input and select tag. Now declare hostname, MySQL username, MySQL password, and database name. Create a connection, then check is there error during connection. If yes, then display error and close. If there is no error, then else and in select variable, write a select query, select a column email from a table register where email equal to what and limit 1. I choose email because email are unique. This question mark is used in prefer statement. Limit 1 means at most 1 row it will select. And this query ensure that every user have unique email. Then insert variable. Write insert into a table register. In a column username, password, gender, email, phone code, and phone. And values what. Then we write prefer statement for select query. 
question mark in a select query is replaced by this value. Here I write yes because in a database we declare email as a variable character which is a string. Here we are retrieving a data from a column email only. In R raw, we store how many number of raw is selected. Check whether the R num is equal to 0 or not. If R num is equal to 0, then close the prepare statement and start prepare statement for insert query. We write 4 as because username, password, gender, email are string. Where 2i is for phone code and phone. Then we print new record inserted successfully. If a row is not equal to 0, that means that email is already in a database. So that on else statement, we print someone already registered using this email. At last we close prefer statement and also close database connection. Now go to the browser and fill up this form. Then click on submit button. Here new record inserted successfully. Now go to PSP My Admin. Here you can see the record which we have inserted. Now try to resubmit this form with a same email address. Here we got someone already registered using this email. And if you go to the database, no other record has been inserted. Now once again try to register with different email address. Here we got success message. And record has been inserted in a database. If you have any question on this video, then please let us know on the comment section. At last, please like it, share this video with your friend and subscribe to my channel.